Whew. That's pretty bad. When this set leaked a while ago, I was super excited to finally get an Arc Trooper 5's figure and have the Tanta 4 hallway. But all at $50, there's no way this can be worth it, right? So let's find out with the 25th anniversary boarding the Tanta 4 LEGO Star Wars set. This set comes with 502 pieces, currently retails for $54.99, and comes with seven minifigures. That's seven total minifigures. Not bad. Obviously, the most notable of which is the 25th anniversary exclusive Arc Trooper 5s. This minifigure alone will without a doubt drive a ton of sales for this set. But is it really worth buying for just this figure? The build itself is obviously the first hallway that we ever see in Star Wars and depicts this scene really well. For 502 pieces, the overall shape of this hallway is really good, but is a little bit small just because they wanted to add as much detail as possible. Starting off with everything surrounding the hallway to build it up, the back of the hallway is nothing special. While I don't think they necessarily needed to make this look pretty, I wish that they would have used something to cover up all of these different colored pieces. That said, I really love the mechanism that they use back here to move the door in the front. Not only is it accessible from two different ways, but it looks really cool from the front side. From the back you can see how it actually functions, and it's really just a lever moving the door from side to side. The doorway is just big enough to fit a figure on the other side, but there aren't any studs in the middle so you won't have any walking through, but you can definitely push them. Coming straight out from the door, we have these two knobs, which is our second feature of the set. I don't love the look of them, but the feature is pretty fun. You can knock over these two. Lego seems to absolutely love this play feature because they added it four different times, and it is all the exact same. You just move the knob, and it lifts this thing up to move the feet of whatever's on top. Stormtrooper, Rebel Trooper, anybody. It is a cool feature, and I'm glad that they included it. It adds some fun to a rather mundane set. The only problem is the look of it isn't great. If you're looking from the top and you don't have those little holes covered for the mechanism, then it just looks a little strange. What isn't strange is the hallway itself, which looks absolutely Absolutely incredible in every way. I love that the pieces they used here are mostly tiling and it gives the hallway a really good look, but there's plenty of studs to place figures wherever you want them. The pieces that they use, those giant tiles with studs around them, are perfect for this hallway. It give us plenty of studs and it looks so good. I love the look of this thing. That extra effort for minifig placement too allows us to take pieces like this that they included, this little translucent round one by one brick, and give us the option to put Antilles on it with Darth Vader to perfectly recreate that scene in which Darth Vader's having some fun with Antilles. Other than the fact that he doesn't technically use the force in that, I think he just kind of puts his hands on him if you get what I'm saying. That is the ambassador. Yikes, that's brutal. Well, anyway, the walls of this thing look really good. I think the 1x2 tiles that they use with the little squares in the middle are fantastic at representing the overall walls of the Tanta 4. I like it a lot. I think LEGO did a really good job here. Unfortunately, one downside here, especially for display, is that the white of the stickers is not anywhere near the white of the pieces. I don't know why LEGO can't figure this out, but it just doesn't look very good. I know many fans enjoy stickers and think that they're better than prints. I disagree. You can't tell me that this white of the stickers looks good against the white of the pieces. They just don't match, and LEGO would have done a much better job if they have created just a build of this thing instead. Ignoring those, I seriously love the way that LEGO did this hallway. It looks so amazing with figures in it, and it's just a fantastic piece for display. But you could also use it in a bunch of different ways, like animations, stop motions, a whole use of different things. Plus, the door is printed. Speaking of uses of minifigures, that is always the most important part of any LEGO set, and these minifigures don't disappoint. Kind of. The figures that I would say are technically a part of the set are really awesome. The two Rebel Troopers we get are fantastic. The Captain Antilles, while not new in the sense that we've gotten a Captain Antilles before, is really good and I think exclusive to the set in this specific style. The Darth Vader is great. The Stormtroopers are good enough. And overall, without even thinking about fives, we get six great figures in a set that is pretty good. The only downside is the fact that this set is really for the Arc Trooper 5s. It's a great fantastic set and I would buy it without the 5s, but most people are going to buy it because of the 5s and it just doesn't hold up to what it should. But looking at the Stormtroopers first, these guys are obviously pretty basic. They're Stormtroopers that we've gotten for a few years now and they look good enough. 
I still think the helmet looks like Family Guy, but the printing on the chest plate as well as the printing on the legs looks top notch and I'm really glad LEGO is sticking with those prints. From the side you can really see the problems with the helmets. The dip over the front, while accurate, is just too large and makes it so you can't move the helmet at all. The back printing is very sharp which looks really good and overall I think LEGO did a good job with this figure. They even included two different heads for both the Stormtroopers. The Darth Vader that we have here is awesome, it includes arm printing and all of the printing around him looks really good. It's not anything different than what we've been getting for the past few years, but I think it helps that LEGO has really nailed down the way they wanted to portray Darth Vader, so if you don't have one, this is a great way to get him and it looks good. I just really like the old helmet better. The arm printing looks great and the back printing is also a nice touch. Thankfully he has his lightsaber despite not technically using it in this particular scene. Unfortunately for Darth Vader, he's been using way too much sunscreen and is paler than your mom but it's good that they made him this way, and he looks great. Let's just keep that helmet on. The Rebel Troopers here are looking really nice. They are basically the exact same prints that we've gotten before, but they look good. Both figures are exactly identical, even the faces, but I think LEGO is doing a great job with these Rebel Troopers. The Rebels are one area that has literally not gotten worse since their conception, so good job LEGO. They do have a second face and a back print, but they don't have any prints or colors anywhere else, so what you see is really what you get. The Captain Antilles is really the same way. He's a great figure, and I really like this fig, but he's just basically printed on the chest and the back, and that's it. I personally don't see anything wrong with that. It would have been great to see some leg and arm printing, but it really wasn't necessary and ultimately wouldn't have led to anything crazy for this figure, so I think they did a good job. He also does have a second face, which I thought was the exact same as the other Rebel Troopers, but it's not, it's slightly different. Before we get into the obvious Fives figure, I wanted to say this plaque looks really good. I'm glad LEGO printed it, and they did a great job. The Fives that comes with it, though, is interesting. I'm torn from wanting to be grateful and enjoying the amazing prints that they did on this figure, between also realizing that this is technically a $50 figure, and if you want this figure, you have to pay $54 for this entire set. I do think it's hilarious that the LEGO Star Wars designers are putting this figure in this set as an exclusive minifig, but then won't put exclusive minifigs in like the UCS sets because it's out of the price range when they know that this figure is the reason this set is going to sell so well. Don't get me wrong, I think this hallway set is overdue and is frankly quite awesome, but it would not be in these high topics of discussion and popularity if this five figure did not exist. The Fives has a lot of issues, but I will say the positive parts about him are awesome, like the arm printing, it looks so, so good. They still gave us a backpack which is nice in the back printing while not different than the other 501st looks good too even the helmet i don't have a problem with i think it's well done helmet warts and all the head is also spectacular it has a printed fives on it and it just has a smirk that i feel like fives would have the goatee is also a really nice touch despite all those the saddest thing about this figure is that they didn't print the pauldron wait what? Yeah, I'm not calling for printed pauldrons. I just think if LEGO wants this figure to look like an idiot, then they might as well make the entire thing look stupid. This pauldron makes this look like bootleg fives, and it looks nothing like the fives does from the TV show. I seriously don't understand how LEGO decided to do the pauldron this way. It looks so much worse than what they used to do. And from the front, it is absolutely horrendous. There is no way the designers looked at the pauldron before sending it out. It is so bad. I can't help but look at the old ARC Trooper and see a pauldron and a waist cape, and the new one just looks barren, stupid, and a waste of a Fives figure. While the Sark Trooper Fives isn't terrible, it isn't really very good either. There's a lot of things wrong with this figure that LEGO just refuses to fix and actively makes worse than previous versions. I can't believe that an Ark Trooper that came out, I think almost or over 10 years ago, looks so much better than this Fives figure. A Fives figure that people have been wanting for many, many years. It's really disappointing that LEGO seems to not be listening when it comes to clone troopers, but with their sets, they are. I think the features that came in the actual hallway are really good. It's just this Arc Trooper 5s isn't. I'd love to hear your thoughts about the Arc Trooper 5s in the comments down below, and watch my other videos. On the right and on the left, watch my playlist of all my LEGO Star Wars reviews. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and become a member today of the channel. Peace.